All right, so we're back inside of Ubuntu. This is a 32-bit box. I'm going to delete out my little demo file so that way I can show you what I did. So something you'll need to become familiar with is Git because that's how I'm going to be sharing code with you. And if you set up your GitHub account and understand how it works, it will obviously make this whole process much, much easier than if I have to individually try copying files or send them to you or doing all that other BS. So let me show you how quick it is. To use Git, all you do is you copy this URL, which you can actually clone anyone's public URL. You then go to this file right here, which is called Git Cola. It's just a um, visual version of Git, which just runs on the command line. You click OK. It's going to ask where you want to store this. And we're going to create a new folder called Demo. Inside of Demo, just click Open. And that's it. You can close this out right now because we no longer need it. And when I look inside of my manager, you see I have JSON Sandbox, JSON Sandbox. And sure enough, every single file that was in there is now available for you to look at. So for example, if I do the Hello World one, there it is, up and running. Pretty easy. So that's how quick and easy it can be to share files using Git. Now there are more advanced features of Git. If you watch the uh, Git training video, you'll find out what some of them are. But for the most part, that's the ones you need to know. Now we also have Java Eclipse up and running right here. To get Java running, or rather to get Eclipse running, let me make sure I didn't throw away the demo folder. There it is. You get a file new project. You'll have all these different projects you can choose from, but you of course want a PHP project. Don't name it until you first grab it. So I'll go to HTML, demo, JSON sandbox, yes. Now here I'll run into a conflict, so I already have something called JSON sandbox, but it's really important that you name your project whatever it is that it ends with. So if it ends like this, that needs to be right there exactly as is. Now I won't do it, but the reason why that's so important let me grab a random file here. So I go here, and I don't think I've ran what world. So when I run it, it's going to ask first, do I want to run it as a PHP CLI, which is command line um, interpreter? Uh, no, this is not a command line thing. This is a web app. So when I click OK, this is the important part. Whatever you name your project, that's what it's going to try to open it up as. And if you don't want to have to keep reconfiguring this line to be something else, if you always want it to just be correct by default, then having your project named whatever the last file extension is will make sure that it understands what it is. And then there it executed the code just fine. So that's Eclipse. A brief demo of what it does, for example, is that as you type in commands, it shows you uh, that's some really stupid stuff. Okay. It's not quite up to snuff, but it does show you this part, which is it shows you what available things are called print, print R, print F, and it shows you that what it does is that uh, it takes two arguments, for example. So that, for example, if I use my array map function, M, it looks for a callback, which is another name for a function, so what function I want to execute and then what array do I want to execute on first, and then the next array, and so forth and so on. An array merge and array merge recursive work the exact same way. And if I double click on it, then it goes ahead and adds that as my selected options. I type an array, I can scroll down to what I want, and then either click on it like this, or I should be able to go array, array change, and then just Those aren't correct. Anyway, do it like that. Now there are some uh, bugs with it, it looks like. Not so much with the Eclipse itself, well, sort of. But on these Linux distros, uh, things can be a little bit more chaotic than they are on the normal distros. And one of the downsides to how... Um, so here you can actually see that all available sites is indeed there is that when you start adding lots of stuff, it really starts to conflict with each other. So for example, the HTML tools are conflicting with the, which I already have them, so they're hidden, but the HTML web development tools are conflicting right now with the PHP development tools, 
So instead of seeing stuff that's uh, for PHP, I keep seeing stuff that's really meant for HTML. So it's one of the downsides to how Eclipse works. But for the most part, it does give you, you know, auto completions and synthetic highlighting and a lot of other goodies. And plus, the best feature about it is that you just click the play button and it runs your script in the browser so you can quickly jump back and forth between doing something and then running it and then seeing what happened. So one of the changes that I made that wasn't in the uh, video is that if you want to trigger all these errors that I have going on right here, so errors in a restaurant given, etc. Click this. That will then do all the errors, and then you'll see what the error output is. And what I changed in this was I made two changes to make them pretty print. The first one, the for each loop, I changed it to this error because the error right here, when it was looping through, it just overwrote the previous value each time. So by doing it like this, it makes sure that this is persistent. And then I added a breaking tag to the front of it because whenever um, it runs, I want it to break right here. But I don't want it to break at the end. So this makes this line up nicer. And I went ahead and on the input file, I added a span tag around the um, right here. So from here to here with the font weight of bold, so that way the very first part of it would be bolded. So all little minor changes, but the one that you need to know is the Git Cola. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this will all just work uh, whenever I give it in. And then there will be no more problems and then we'll all have our own nice, clean sandbox environments.